I have come to you from some pretty abstract places, but this this is is up there. Um, this is the conclusion to the journey of the 458 Speciale. We are back in the UK, uh, and I am airside at Heathrow Airport. This today is like a two-part attack to some really cool content. On the one hand, I'm obviously bringing you guys, you're sharing it with your eyeballs firsthand here. Um, but we're also filming for a series in the UK called Heathrow, Britain's busiest airport. They have flatteringly asked if they could document the journey of the Speciali coming back to England with Emirates. We've gone and got ourselves airside. I can't begin to tell you the rigmarole and security and paperwork that it takes to get here. Uh, so you might see it on TV and take it for granted, but believe me, to be here is a really special occasion. Uh, and as always, I'm super, super pumped to bring you along for the ride. So let me just show you where we are. Uh, I am currently airside uh, of uh, Heathrow Airport. The plane in a minute is going to dock right in front of us here. Uh, and then there's some special cargo, which I, sh I shall share with you shortly, coming off the plane first. And then the Speciali is coming and it's gonna land and we're gonna be reunited with the car, which has been in Dubai for about five weeks. Okay, so we've just been discussing which okay. direction of airspace we need to look to see the the, the airplane coming in right so, so the little orange plane there on flight radar yeah. is the 777 freighter coming in and i expect it to be in the next probably four minutes coming from that direction over there it's so absurd 14 freighters yeah on a daily basis 14 freighters yeah. on a daily basis. Okay. so this freighter comes in twice a week yeah so for me this is nuts this is like just mental so over there five minutes yeah well yeah, Ish. three minutes. Three so minutes. So we got three minutes, and then you'll see the triple seven on the horizon. Just ridiculous. Yeah. Cool. Three minutes, plane landing, car landing, amazing. I can see a glimmer of a plane. I'm not. Sure. Is that it? There's no chance you guys can see this. Uh, yeah, from miles away. Yeah, no, it's coming on. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the one. plane. Yeah, but it's coming on two seven right. So it's not going. It's not going to land on this one. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's going to land though, and it's going to taxi across, right? Yeah, it's going to taxi yeah. past us. It's going to be sit there. But that's it. That's yeah. our plane. Yeah. With my car. This out also today I have these two wonderful people G4 following H us around. G4H will be I've got to go through some security first. Okay, so this is only a cargo plane. So there's no passengers as such. Uh, I've been told that the horses come off first, which is crazy, uh, and then the car comes off. But I think we're allowed to go on the plane. Uh, the amount of security involved in this is crazy. Um, but we're allowed to go on the plane, check out what's going on there. And then hopefully we can see what's going on in the fuselage before everything comes off. Pretty nuts. Okay. All right, first things first is horses. So in that very container there is some very fancy race horses, which is spectacular to think really that you can travel animals like that. It's incredible. I mean, I was impressed with my uh, my car being here, but to know that there's horses in there is something else. And apparently they travel in a controlled climate environment. They're always comfortable. It's awesome. On their way to the animal center to be taken care of, take by the vet. Okay, we're now gonna go look at your car. We're gonna take the car right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. This it's is crazy. All day long. Okay, what you can't see right now is how freezing it is. I can't wait to get inside that plane. Dude, it's warmer in the plane than what is it on the ground. I hope so. I hope so. Really nice. So, after you. Onwards. It's mad because this is pure cargo. It's not really a passenger plane at all. There is no, uh, yes, there is no anything. There is no place to sit but these, these guys here. Look at this. Let's sit in over there. There's the car! You can take a sneak peek. There's the car. This is so crazy. Okay, stepping in. Wow. 
This is a first. I've never so been in a think, pure yeah? cargo plane. Pure car, this is madness. There it is. Wow. Oh, this is so I crazy. Love the wheels, dude. Look at this. At the same time we have camera crew following us in. And this is the car surrounded by all sorts of other cargo. Wow, man, this is mad. Okay. There it is. So it is obviously under our cover. It's just to see the paint again. Fantastic. There's one thing. The car looks so much better in Dubai because the light oh, is completely. amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you oh, can see it's completely cool. secure, it's yeah. locked down to the base of the floor, you've got all the straps locked down on the wheels, the car's not moving for anything. So the car on its whole journey stays on this pallet, right? So this is called a, this is a 20 foot pallet. Uh -huh. The vehicle sits on top of the 20 foot pallet, it is lashed down to all the straps, it locks it into place, and then, you, and then the pallet itself is then locked onto the base of the plane. It won't move at all. Wow. And so these pallets, I presume, they're sort of Universal pallets. Universal pallets. Go across all that. And then what we do is we will have we will have a load master that basically will check the weight and balance of the aircraft. That's super cool. And this will be probably one of the last pallets to come off the plane. But this is a 20 foot pallet. It's a big pallet. Oh yeah. Wow. I do that. I love this attention to detail. Yeah, yeah. Like putting padding on the straps so that it doesn't scratch the wheels because you know no one sees this process. So to see all of this. At first hand is 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 really good. So we have really, really nice. we have specialists that basically will ensure the car's loaded correctly, and you have all the the lashing put on the wheels. You can see the protective covers, so yeah. you don't get any scratches on the beautiful wheels. Absolutely, man. Right? Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. But it's a beautiful color. Baby's back. Is it the right car? It's the right car. Drive it out. Here we are, the car has finally arrived. This is uh, clearance, basically all imports come through this area and get cleared, including cars. So weird to see it back. Um, it left NVM, so it's had the paint protection film put on the car. And I think just before it left, it had a clean. So under these spotlights, it looks really good. Hopefully our great British weather system will hold off uh, at least for the next few days. Uh, I'm gonna jump in this and drive it home shortly. But yeah, just to have it back here is so monumentally cool. Even though I spent the last three weeks basically with the car, it still feels really alien seeing it here because the environment it was in was so far removed from where it is now. This is cool, they put this like steering wheel shroud on it and a seat cover for if the car does need to get moved. So there's two types of transport methods, I believe, for different types of cars. So if the car can roll in neutral, aka if it's a manual car and you, and you can push it, it gets to go on a, on a different kind of plane. And that's the, the kind of car that I believe you're able to fly with you uh, on the actual same plane. Whereas if it doesn't roll in neutral like this, because it's got a twin clutch, a box, it then has to go on its own fixed pallet, which then has to go on a cargo plane. The memories, and now I'm stepping back in this thing, it even smells as it did in, in Dubai. It, it sort of generated its own character out there because it was in constant heat. I'm kind of a little bit sad actually that it's back here. Not that I don't love driving here, but every day you step out of the door in Dubai and it, the driving conditions are perfect everywhere. And then, you know, you've got two tracks on your doorstep. You've got the Dubai Autodrome, and like an hour away, you've got Yaz Marina. That was one of the highlights of this trip, was driving 
my own car on an international Formula One circuit and it's the last of the F1 calendar. So it's a super iconic track and to be able to drive this over there was incredible. So I've got to say a massive thank you to Emirates Sky Cargo. The logistics of this has been, as you've seen, incredible. Um, also, be sure to tune in. As you've seen today, we've been filming for Heathrow, Britain's busiest airports, and that'll be on soon. Uh, and stay tuned to my social media because as soon as I know when that's going live, I'll be sure to put a link uh, in various posts because uh, it'll be interesting to see the other side of this. But uh, yeah, special journey, special occasion. And of course, it is now perfectly protected in paint protection film by the guys from NVN in Dubai. So thanks very much, everyone. Right, I'm gonna hop in this and drive home. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Who knows where we'll be. Ciao.